Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Pratyusha from Pratvam Progs. Today's tutorial is about if we can use Itsy Bitsy's deco transfer sheets to make quill deco part jumkas or jewelry. These are the deco transfer sheets that are available at Itsy Bitsy. These are very easy to work with. We will be using the Blissful Buddha sheet for today's video. I will be cutting out four of those lotuses that you see on top for this project. I fussy cut these lotuses and keep them aside. Next, you need some clean water, a sponge and you'll also require to make two of these jumka quilling domes that are already gessoed. If you don't know how to prepare these domes, I will leave a link to the tutorial where I've shared the procedure in the description box below. You can check it out. Next, take the cut pattern, remove the top transparent film and place it on the Jumka dome and press it firmly. Post that dab water onto the pattern using the sponge. The top white sheet can be peeled away once the water nicely soaks it. And your pattern is transferred onto the Junka dome. Next, a layer of varnish has to be given so that the pattern is sealed in place. Repeat the procedure on the opposite side of the Junka as well. Once ready, put in a head pin, a bead cap and a black bead Cut the head pin to the required length. Then add a stud. This finishes one of the jumkas. Repeat this procedure on the other jumka dome as well. So, the answer to if we can use itsy bitsy deco transfer sheets for quill deco part jewellery is a big yes from me. You can even make a pendant to go along with it in the same manner. I will leave a link for how to make a pendant in the description box below. Here are a few close up shots of the Jumkas. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. In case of any queries, leave them below in the comment section and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.